Hi guys, now we're going to start working on logarithms. So hopefully you watched the three minute video about um, logarithms explained. I just think it did a good job of, you know, kind of in a nutshell explaining what logarithms are and what they're used for. But really what they're used for is to find values of exponents. They are, another thing I like to say here, they are inverses of exponents. So logarithms are inverses of exponents. So in that other video they use log base b of n, so they had an n right here, is equal to p. So then they would say the base to a power is equal to a number. So I kind of like that. Base to a power is equal to a number. Really it's just going back and forth between exponents and logarithms. So the, really the first thing that we're going to practice doing here is rewriting an equation, an exponential equation, into logarithmic form. So our base is 2, so we're going to write log base 2. So there's that 2 here. The 2 is the base of 8 is equal to the power is equal to the power of 3. And really, it's a matter of just getting good at going back and forth between log form and base form. All right. So the next one is going to be log. Base is always a number that kind of hangs down. The base on this one is 3, so the 3 is going to hang down of 9 that's a 9 there. And then this is equal to our exponent. The exponent is 2. So we're just rewriting it in another form. All right, maybe hit pause, see if you can try the next one. Just try to rewrite it in log form. All right, let's see how you did. Log base 8 of, I'm going to put parentheses around this because it's a fraction, 1 64th is equal to negative 2. So hopefully you got that. If not, press pause, try D. You should end up getting log base one third of one ninth is equal to 2. So this is just something you're going to have to practice going back and forth. I just gave you some exponents and we switched them to log, so now let's invert that and do it the opposite way. So this time we will start with the base, the number that's hanging down is a 3, so I will start with a 3. That's my base. My exponent is always over here what it's equal to. So 3 to the 5th is equal to the number that's right here. So 3 to the 5th is equal to 243. Again, we're not doing any work, we're just rewriting this in another form. So try the next one. 8 to the 1 -third is equal to 2. Go ahead, hit pause, try the next two, see if you can get those. C, you should have 9 to the 1st is equal to 9, and then D is 3 to the negative 3rd power is equal to 1 over 27. Alright, we're going to take a look at some properties, some special properties of logarithms. So, if in this first form, you will see log base b of b. So the base and the number right here are the same. Here's an example with numbers. Log base 3 of 3. So if those numbers are the same, it's always going to simplify to 1. And here's the reason why. If I change that to the opposite, or to my exponential form, I'll start with my base of 3. 3 to the first power is equal to 3. All right, log base b of 1 is equal to 0. We'll throw some numbers in there, just sometimes, you know, people, like you guys like to see numbers better. So log base 7 of 1 is equal to 0. Why does that work? If we change it to the base, the power is 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So pretty much if you ever have a 1 right there, you're going to get an answer of 0. 
right, if you watch that video, you will see that a base 10 is a called a common logarithm. That's a log that you can actually use your calculator on. So here's how you would see it. Log base 10 of, well, any number. We'll pick an 8. So you might see that as log. You don't really have to write the 10 of 8. That would be the same as if I have x. We don't usually put the 1 in front of the x, or we don't put the 1 exponent. So we don't have to put the 10 base. Similarly, a natural log has a base of e. Remember, e is a number 2 point, approximately 2.72. You know, maybe go back and watch the, I did upload a E video that um, did a really good job of explaining where E comes from. But anyway, so a natural logarithm has a base of E. So this would be log base E of, you know, something 2. We write that as ln. It's used so much that we just, we write ln of 2. So if you ever see ln, that just means that, that it has a base of e. And there's actually a button under calculator ln. Alright, evaluate. Remember evaluate means give me a number answer using mental math. So we're going to try to do these in our heads. First thing I'm going to do is set it equal to x. I'm going to change it. I'm going to write it in exponential form. And then I'm going to change each side to have the same base. So I'm always going to change to a smaller number. I'll put that in quotes. I'll explain that in a little bit. All right. So first step here is I'm going to set it equal to x. I'm going to change this to exponential form. So I'm going to start with my base, which is 5. Raised to the x power is equal to 25. I need to balance out these bases. So I know that this is, I can't really break up the 5, I can't make that any smaller, but I know that 25 is really 5 squared. Notice now we have the same bases, so all we have to do is set the exponents equal. In order for this to work, x would have to equal 2. Let's try the next one. First step is to set it equal to x change it to exponential form. So I'm going to start with my base, which is 9, raised to the x power is equal to 27. Now, 9 is the smaller number. It's not really possible for me to take 27 and break it down to 9, because 9 squared is 81. That's too big. But think about the 9. You can break the 9 up into 3 and 3. So I can rewrite this as 3 squared. There's still an x in the exponent. 27, you can actually break down into 9 times 3, 3 times 3, so 3 cubed. Now, the bases are the same. The bases are the same, so I can go ahead and just set my exponents equal to solve for x. 2x is equal to 3, divide by 2, x equals 3 halves. Alright, and the last one. Set it equal to x. Notice there's no base. If there's no base, it means that there's a 10. I know that it's not e because it's log. If it was e, it would have been an ln. So I'm going to change this to exponential form. 10 to the x power is equal to 1,000. I notice that I can break the 1,000 into 10 cubed. Bases are the same, so x is equal to to 3. Yeah, I'll try a few more. Set it equal to x, change it to exponential form. The base is 4, 4 to the x power equals 1 eighth. Now remember I said smaller in quotes. Obviously 1 eighth is smaller, but I'm going to look at the 8, not necessarily the 1 eighth. So I have an 8 and a 4. I can't change 8 into 4 to some power, but if you take the 4, realize you can break it into 2 and 2. If you look at just the 8, you can break it into 2 and 4 and 2 and 2. 
So notice you can break them both into a base of 2. So 4 is 2 squared. There is still an x in the exponent. And then I'm going to write this as 1 over, instead of 8, I'm going to write 2 to the third power. Bring that up to the top so it's not a fraction anymore. I've got 2 to the 2x power equals 2 to the negative 3 power. Now my bases are the same, so I can just set my exponents equal. 2x is equal to negative 3, so x is negative 3 halves. Notice some of these are getting a little trickier, which is why logs are going to come in very handy. All right, next problem. You like how example e has an e in it? Ha ha ha. All right, so set that equal to x. The base that you don't see really has an e there. So I'm going to rewrite this as e to the x is equal to e. Now the bases are already the same, but there's no exponent on the right side. So I can always put a 1 there. Now the bases are the same, so I can set x equal to 1. If you were to flip back when we were working with our properties, let me go backwards a little bit here, this is just like this example. It's just that it had ln's. So if the base and this number are the same, it's going to equal 1. All right, last problem. Maybe this looks familiar too from when I just scrolled back. Set it equal to x. I'm going to rewrite 7 to the x power is equal to 1. You're really going to have to think on this one. What, or let's go like, let's say 7. 7 to what power will equal 1? Well, anything to the 0 power will always equal 1. So you have to kind of, you know, be creative to come up with that. So if you ever see a 1, know that you can raise it to a 0 power, anything to a 0 power. Bases are the same, so x is equal to 0. Again, that was one of those special properties.